Paints can be pretty confusing, both by name and appearance. Knowing their differences to the last detail is essential to pick the right one for your project. In this video, I'll do a head-to-head -head on Milk Paint VS. Chalk Paint to remove all the ambiguity surrounding the two. Let's put them side by side and give them their identities by definition, uses, pros and cons, similarities, differences, etc. So, gear up for an exciting and informative discussion ahead. Let's go! What is milk paint? From the introduction above, what is milk paint? It's a non-toxic milk-borne paint made from milk, in lime as the main components, and pigments as excipients to give it color. In other formulations, it comprises borax and milk's casein protein. The borax functions as a preservative and also activates the casein. Uses of milk paint Its usage dates from thousands of years back. Other paint types like acrylic and oil-based weren't invented yet, so milk paint was the only one available. What is chalk paint? First, I want to be clear that chalk paint is a totally different product from chalkboard paint. Keep this in mind. So what is chalk paint? Annie Sloan, a British artist, author, and color expert, invented the above paint in 1990. It's a water-based color treatment applied to surfaces like furniture, walls, fabric, floors of plaster, and glass. The paint comprises a fine powder of calcium carbonate or plaster of Paris mixed with water. Acrylic paint is added for pigmentation. Chalk paint requires a top coat to prevent flaking. Following its invention in 1990, Annie Sloan registered the term chalk paint as a trademark. This means companies manufacturing the same product had to adopt the different names like chalky finish and chalky paint. It's for legal and marketing purposes. It's no surprise, therefore, that all chalk paints brands are sold under Annie Sloan as indicated on their labels. Chalkboard paint isn't part of this discussion, but I'll define it to avoid confusion when purchasing chalk paint or similar products. It's specialized paint that forms a chalkboard-like finish upon which you can write in the same fashion as the traditional blackboard or chalkboard. Milk Paint vs Chalk Paint vs Latex Paint The wide variety of paints makes it pretty confusing to tell them apart. To add to this puzzle, many paints have similar characteristics, and it's difficult to tell which is which, even to a trained eye. The three paint types are similar in some aspects, and different in others. They are alike in terms of the dispersion medium, color variety, and some uses. The differences revolve around their dispersed phases, how to use them, what kind of projects to use them on, etc. Take a look at the analysis below. Dispersion medium. This simply means a solvent vehicle of the paint. All three paints have the same dispersion medium. Water. We can therefore refer to them as water-based paints. Paintbrush. We use synthetic paintbrushes to apply all of the above paint types. The synthetic brush suits these paints because its bristles do not absorb the water component of the paints. On the other hand, a natural brush leads to the wastage of the paints in question because it soaks them up. Formulation. Both chalk paint and latex paint come in a liquefied formulation. Milk paint comes in powdered form. So you have to add water to yield liquid paint. Shelf life. Unused latex paint in a sealed container has a decades-long shelf life. Chalk paint lasts five years under similar conditions. Milk paint warrants a broader explanation because it has a few twists regarding its shelf life. Milk paint will last for over 10 years if you store it in a powdered state. But if you formulate the milk paint with water, it can only last for three days in a viable state. Formulated milk paint lasts for two weeks when you close the lid and store it in a refrigerator to throw you for another hoop. For the above reason, manufacturers store milk paint in a powdered state and even sell it to customers in the same state for storage convenience. Top coat. Chalk paint needs a top coat or clear coat to seal it and give it more durability. Milk paint doesn't need a top coat because it's self-sealing and strong enough to withstand external damage. Latex paint is similar to milk paint in this regard. Still, I recommend the top coat for milk and latex paint because it reinforces the paint and adds to the already excellent durability profile. Painting temperature and humidity. All of these paints are water-based. Therefore, they have a similar optimal painting temperature ranging between 500-850 Fahrenheit. They also match in terms of optimal relative humidity for painting. Thinning agents. Water is a thinning agent for all of the above paints. However, an agent known as Floetrol also thins latex paint. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.